I think that um, I really feel blessed to be in this in this business. It's I think the thing that excited my dad the most about it, that he imparted to me was that we're storytellers. We're part of the we're in the business of communication, and uh, and that's what I I love about it. And when it comes time for the work, I mean this. Uh, first of all, this is something that's been there since the beginning of time when they had the campfire and the people are getting around and they have a story to tell and they're telling about what's going on in the village next. But when it comes time for the work, for me, it's, it, it's, uh, there's a real spiritual side to it. You know, uh, after you prepare, you do your homework, you all of that stuff, and you're in there with the other person. But then I just try to let it come through me, you know? Let the spirit come. And uh, because acting is, you know, it, yes, it's entertaining people, but it's, it's inviting people, you know, at, at its best, it's inviting people on a spiritual journey and, and informing us all about something that, that is important, whatever, whatever that story happens to be. And so you need to just kind of release. And it's a good feeling because then you don't feel that you have to do it, generate it all from yourself. It's coming from a place that is unknown to you almost, you know. It's the spirit, you know. The spirit of, of telling the stories, the spirit of communicating, the spirit of loving your fellow man. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I, I uh, have a lot of that going on with me uh, in choosing a role. Um, you know, it's the story, the people that you're getting to work with, that sort of thing. But um, really, I have an int you know, a, weird, a weird method. Uh, uh, the fact that I've been so lucky um, really affords me to have this you know, method, but... Um, I uh, really try not to work at all. Try to, you know, not engage. You know, I really don't want any any more work. You know, I try to push it away. Um, and then when it's uh, too cool, you know, when the story is just too good, or the the um, the people I'm working with are too just too wonderful, or uh, or often, you know, the the um, that spirit thing you talk, the challenge. You know, uh, it's funny, like a the script like um, Crazy Heart, when that first came around for me, I read it and I said, oh man, this is a, you know about a musician that could be cool, you know, and then I found out that there was no music to the thing. I went, wow, that's, that was a close one. That almost got me, man. <laughs> and then I ran into T-Bone Burnett, my buddy, you know, we've known each other for a long time, and he said, what do you think about this Crazy Heart script? And I said, oh. Why are you asking me that? Are you interested? And he said, well, I'll do it if you'll do it. I said, really? I said, there's no music. He said, I'll take care of that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and so I said, okay. And now I was scared to shit lips, man, because here uh, I was very safe in the dream world, you know, and now I had to say, I, I, you know, it was a challenge, you know. I had to bring that dream into reality, and I could fail, you know. I could fail at something that I really didn't want to fail at. You know, it's like uh, I keep getting that picture of the wide receiver going out for that long ball, you know, and it's the, you know, the championship game, and here's the perfect pass, and you just say, please, catch it, you know, catch the ball, you know. Uh, and so I, uh, uh, you know, that was one that was just, you know, the challenge was too good, and, you know, I kind of went. Uh, I made a painting of a dream I had that really sums it up for me. The dream is I'm going down a river uh, in a rowboat, and it's got two cliffs on either side. It's quite a wide river. I guess it could be about as wide as this room. And there are whirlpools all through the, the river, and my task is to get through those whirlpools. And at the vortex of each whirlpool is a beautiful jewel. And I find myself, you know, in my dream, and you know, groaning like this, and I say, oh, look at that beautiful jewel. Oh, 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 man, oh, almost got caught. And I'll go like that, you know, and then I'll say, oh, look at that one, you know. Oh, oh, 
Oh, and it's too late. You know, I'm sucked in, and my oars are up like that, and that's my painting. That's the painting, and the title of the painting is Jeff Makes a Decision. <laughs> and that's my process. That's basically my process. 